Guys, as we uh, continue to follow what's happening in the Middle East, we continue to follow what's happening here. And as the conditions worsen for the thousands still caught in the crosshairs of the Israeli and Hamas fighters in Gaza, thousands of Americans back here at home are expected to be here in Washington on the National Mall this morning in support of Israel. And among them, Bob Barnard, who's been down there all morning long, he starts off our coverage this morning. A lot of those security barricades went up overnight. Bob, there's a couple behind you right now. What's the latest as of 9 o'clock? Well, the gates are now open so people can start getting onto the mall, at least, you know, part of the production crew, security and media. The gates will open to allow the general public onto the mall at 10 o'clock this morning. But we're right basically at 4th Street uh, in the middle of the mall here. As you look, uh, you know, west here toward the uh, Washington Monument, this whole area is expected to be filled with as many as 60,000 people or more who will kind of take over the National Mall for this. It, they're calling it a march for Israel, but it's really not going to be a march, more of a rally here. Uh, and they're expecting people to be bused, some 1,400 buses from the Midwest and Northeast, people flying in from around the country. Organizers say they know this, and even some coming in from Israel. And as we pan over here, you'll see the stage. They're just kind of checking the sound system. A band is playing, but you're going to have members of Congress here. Uh, the new House Speaker, uh, the, uh, the, uh, Demo the, the top Democrat in the Senate, Chuck Schumer. Uh, you're going to have a lot of different people speaking. Uh, the uh, Israeli ambassador to the U.S., uh, musical performances, basically telling Congress Congress and the White House, you, you know, the Biden administration right across the street here at the White House, that we want you to continue your support for Israel and to kind of counter some of the pro-Palestinian rallies we've seen here in Washington, around the country and around the world. Here now is William Daroff. He is one of the organizers of the rally talking about what are the next steps after today. There will be tens of thousands of people here today, and we're giving them a, a list of action items to, to take home with them, to speak out uh, in their local news media, to speak out with their members of Congress, to speak out with the president, uh, to ensure that America knows that what they're seeing on TV from these pro-Hamas sympathizers is not the real America. We just released a poll this morning that shows that 8 out of 10 Americans support Israel's right to defend itself. And that's where America stands. It's not what you see in, in Harvard Square uh, or in other uh, uh, bastions of uh, moral equivalence. And so this is a very large First Amendment demonstration. They're well aware that there could be others, you know, pro-Palestinian demonstrations here. They've got their First Amendment rights. You've got hundreds of D.C. police all around the area for, for security purposes. You also have some units of the uh, uh, D.C. Army National Guard who will be here to provide some traffic control assistance. There are road closures and parking restrictions all around the National Mall, from Constitution to Independence, from the uh, Capitol to uh, the Washington Monument. So be aware of that if you're planning to be down here for work or otherwise. And if you're coming to the rally, they say the best way is to come by Metro. No threats that we know of. We'll have to see. My colleague Stephanie Ramirez will be here all day, Stephen, and uh, we'll see how things go. The, uh, the official event kicks off at 1 p.m. this afternoon. Yeah, very, very busy day down there on the National Mom. Bob, thank you so much.